This will be a quick video demonstrating the FAI Triangle Planner that uh, I've developed and used. Uh, the goal of the piece of software is to allow me to optimize an FAI Triangle based on the fuel that I'm carrying and the winds aloft. It's definitely not uh, ready for prime time, but it's getting there and people might be interested in the development, uh, might give them some useful information. I'm interested in talking to people about it. It's a Google Sheets uh, using the OpenSolver add-in. To get that OpenSolver add-in, you open up the Google Sheet, Go to add-ons, get add-ons, and then do a search for open solver. When you open up the Google Sheet, you'll see there's some instructions on the first page, and the second page has actually got the model and the solution. You'll see some of the cells are yellow. Those are calculated by the model, and some are green. You can enter information into the green cells. And some of the cells are constraints. For example, the maximum fuel that I can use on this flight is 24 litres, which I've entered up here in this cell. Uh, I'm going to aim to land with one litre of fuel, and each of the legs must be at least 28% of the total uh, length of the, the flight. Probably the easiest way of starting to see how the information is calculated and used is to enter some information into these green cells here and see the, the change that makes in this working down here. So <clears throat> the first leg I'm flying at an airspeed of 45 kilometers an hour. If I change that to 40 kilometers an hour, you should expect to see my ground speed change, uh, the number of minutes for that leg changed. And as you can see, it reduced from 65 to 60. If I just move that back to 45, if I change the direction that the wind is from or the speed of the uh, tailwind, I'll change that from 20 to 10, you'll see the length of the time will increase and the number of amount of fuel will increase as well. So from 82 to 97 minutes, the amount of fuel from to 8.3. And those changes are shown up here. If I change the direction of the wind, currently the first leg is flown at a bearing of oh, 301. The reciprocal of that is 121. If I change the wind direction so it's coming from 100 degrees, you'll see my effective uh, tailwind uh, will decrease. So currently I had 10 uh, kilometres an hour tailwind. It's now gone down to 9.2 kilometres, and that has a ripple on effect. Uh, this value here is the amount of fuel that I need for that climb during that leg. So if I don't do any climbing, we'll see the amount of fuel will decrease uh, and I'll have more fuel. We will now just solve this. These cells here are the variables. This is the cell I want to maximize. That's the objective cell. And these are the constraints that I've got. So if we click Solve Model, it's now going to change these values. And that ripples through the spreadsheet. And it will come up with a maximum uh, size of that triangle, 315 uh, kilometers. I've now got a triangle with certain uh, degrees bearing. I can manually rotate that triangle and see how it changes the uh, time that I will take. I'll rotate it in increments of five. So it was, ah, it's going up. So we'll rotate it the other way. Uh, 
looks like we're, we were about the sweet spot anyway. We'll just rotate it in increments of one degree. And if you've rotated it a significant amount of time, you can click the Solve Model button again, and it will give you a, uh, uh, an increased amount of uh, distance that you can cover in that time. What I then do is I get these bearings and the distance, enter that into XE Planner, and then I can tweak that course so I don't um, fly over too much Tiger Country and export it to my instrument. What I also do is I keep a copy of this with me on the flight so I can compare my actual flight to the predictions and then vary the flight accordingly. Have a look at the instructions. One of the things that you've got a link to is the Facebook group doing FAI paramotor tasks and we're discussing tools like this. If you want to see more videos like this, click the round subscribe button or leave a comment, like or share.